Two guys, one review, one review. Two guys, one review, and we're back and better than ever, baby. Bringing in the top five spookiest movies to watch in 2022. Ooh. Raking it in at number five, we're bringing in Terrifier. Gory, very gruesome, and is going to leave you with fucking hairs on the back of your neck, break dancing. I would watch it again. I saw a couple people walk out of the movie theaters, and I heard that a lot of people are walking in with brown bags. So that's always something great when it comes to horror. Number four, we're bringing in The Watcher. And I got to say, I was watching Watcher like a goddamn dog watching chicken on a skillet. Tony, what did you think of Watcher? Watcher exclusively on Shutter. Make sure you check it out, guys. It's going to make you second guess things in your own surroundings. It's going to make you freak out in your own house. Good horror movie. Definitely a true psychological thriller. It's going to leave you entertained. It's going to leave you guessing until the very end. Chills down my spine. You're going to be looking over your shoulder while you watch that. Grab some popcorn, turn out the lights. It's going to be great. Number three, we're talking about Barbarians. And I'm not talking about the ones that fight in the ring. We're talking about Barbarian the movie. Um, I just got to say, I'm never going to rent a fucking Airbnb ever again. And watch the trailer and then watch the movie and tell me what you think. But the trailer doesn't tell you shit. And you're going to be wondering what's going to go on the whole movie. Definitely something that's going to turn your neck for sure and have you coming back for more. Number two, we're bringing in Smile. Smile, Tony. I was doing anything but smiling during that. No, in all seriousness, it was very well done uh, for a movie that I thought, you know, based on the trailers, based on what I had seen, might not do that well. I think uh, even from the director's point of view, it's done very well, exceeded expectations. Uh, and I agree with that for sure. The demon, great. The story behind it, great. Uh, so, yeah, going on to number one, what do we got? Number one, we got Scream. Great addition to the Scream franchise. Very well performed. I loved how they followed the storyline. They added a touch of modern day, I guess, intrigue to it. Um, you have cellular devices nowadays. You got your locks locked in on your cell phone. You could unlock the door. You got the computers, all this other stuff. And they just, they just delivered a very great performance. Scream in general, the way that they hit you with the narrative of who's the killer, always going to be a great slasher movie. And I love how they just followed through. I mean, they didn't, they didn't fuck it over and they just ended it epically, but Great addition to 2022, started the year well, all COVID shit aside. But uh, yeah, I mean, top fives is definitely something we're going to get in the habit of doing. And we're going to do top five worst horror movies to watch without a doubt. Because, you know, if you know me, I love watching shit movies. And, you know, I'll definitely have a hoot doing so. So like, subscribe, give us a comment. Let me know what your top fives were so I could check things out. You know, whenever I'm bored sitting around at home, I love to, you know, indulge in some movies, eat some popcorn with the missus. So let me know. Once again, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you, guys.